What is going on guys? Today is the day we are finally painting the dragster green metallic gold flake, but first we have to address something. A lot of y'all are asking, keep making comments on the jack shaft, the jack shaft setup that we did on the rail. Here's why. For one thing, we didn't want the chain to go through between our legs because if the chain breaks, it can hit us and injure us or it's even possible it can kill us. And y'all are saying, why didn't we run a chain from here all the way to the axle? We've done that before. Rat Rod Wagon. Oh yeah, she's shaking pretty bad. What is that? Yeah. perfect example. This is even farther away than the rat rod wagon. We, no matter how tight the chain was, it would always throw the chain. We did this setup because this is pretty much the only way we can go without going with a, like a drive shaft and differential setup. And there's a reason we didn't do that. One, because of weight and two, coming up with the setup. That's expensive. just expensive. It's expensive. And space. We have to find a differential. We did the two jack shafts for a reason. The chain is short enough, it won't flex enough and pop off the chain or sprocket. This is the best solution for us. Go Power Sports gladly supplied us with all of these components to make uh, our jack shafts happen. And I think it works very well considering we're making 50 horsepower. Now let's get to the good stuff, shall we? We got some paint in the mail. And I know we told you we'd do blue, but we originally told you we were gonna do green and gold. And after much thought, we settled on green and gold. Wow, that looks pretty sweet. That's some flake right there, guys. That's some flake. So uh, we have links to this paint in the description of this video. You can buy it on Amazon. They didn't have it at the store, and I wonder how this is gonna hold up, because I guarantee this is not supposed to be, yeah, ideal for decorations and crafts. So we also got this on Amazon, and this should be the flake, dude. More Look flake. That. That's the gold flake right there. Yeah. We got two cans of this. Which is Four more. Four cans of this. Wow, we're gonna have freaking glitter for days, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I ordered four. Oh, yeah, $12.99 a piece. So uh, we're in this paint job about 150 bucks, not including primer and clear coat. We're in this paint job 200 bucks. Still cheaper than going with like professional car paint. Easier to shoot, maybe, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So we are gonna start with our scoop because we can do that real quick here and uh, we okay. can- yeah, we can look at it and we can make sure that we didn't mess up by getting the super glittery paint. So I'm gonna sand this uh, blue down and I'm gonna try to get rid of these couple of scratches. And there's a couple of like little rough body spots and the runs. It's not doing a whole lot. We need some sandpaper. Okay, let's make a run to the store. So we are here at the store. We got some respirators, we got some Brillo pads, and we got some sand, sand paper. paper. Uh, yep, so we're gonna look at some accent colors right now. We have plenty of black though, but we're just gonna take a look. All right, see y'all in a second. I owe you a 14 second car. I have not yet ridden in my own. I have not ridden passenger. I, the good news is I don't smell any more coolant. Well, that's Should good. Should we check the coolant real quick? Oh, yeah, let's check coolant. All right, you know I'm gonna unleash the 2.5 Fury, right? You do what you need to do, man. For the record, I know that I need a diff. I knew that would be a thing. Are you ready? I'm ready. So what are your thoughts, man? On the Miata, dude. I think I'm in trouble. Why is that? I think you got me, dude. Let's 
give it another shot. Oh, look at the run. I'm, that's why I want to do it on the bottom. Yeah. I'm glad. It's dripping real bad, dude. Oh, wow. It's terrible. It's freaking dripping off, dude. Wow. All okay. Right, all right. We're all done. Right. Well, we're done. Maybe you're supposed to hit it with green, then, like, finish it off with the glitter, you know? It's like clear yeah, with, with glitter green and it. glitter. Well, that was supposed to be green metallic. Now it's green glitter, dude. There's a difference. They have green metallic. I thought this was green paint. Glitter paint, bro? We both sat down and we looked at either green metallic or that green glitter, and we chose green glitter. So we're just going to have to get online and order a case of green metallic maybe we can finish it with a coat of the green glitter a light coat and then we're just gonna have like 10 extra cans of green glitter the reason we're so bummed out is because we don't have any green metallic paint at our local stores so we have to order some and like today and tomorrow was when we were gonna get this video done um, and it's not gonna be painted in this video so we're gonna get it primed and it's gonna be looking good It'll just be white for a while. So, paint next time, which sucks. Yeah. So we just got the engine off of this thing and got it completely stripped down. Ike was just messing around, figured he'd hit the naked metal with the green sparkle paint. And darn it if it doesn't look awesome. Do you think we should hit it with like a black first? It'll, we got black right yeah. now? Yeah, we can just test it, dude. And this is for testing purposes only. While we've been waiting for our experiment to dry, we've been hitting the chassis with some uh, stripping pads. Looks pretty good. We've done this front section so far. Have not touched this. I think you can really tell a difference. It got pretty darn rusty in the last couple yeah, it months. Did. I think it's a little too dark green, honestly, man. It looks good. Don't get me wrong. Well, probably the more you paint it, the lighter it'll get too. All right, so you want to like wait a couple minutes and I'll give it another coat? I'll wait a couple coat? minutes and give it another coat. The green doesn't penetrate the white. No. Nope. But it does the black pretty well. Yeah. Wow. That's some plain dude. <laughs> Just throwing some gold to it. I like that technique, man. So it's pretty late. Tomorrow high should be about 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're gonna do some painting then. So we will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. It is painting day. Uh, we need a little bit of welding to do though. We have a little bit of welding to do. Excuse me, it's early. Um, so <laughs> that's what we are gonna do. A um, Couple spots. This side of our new axle hanger, that engine support brace. Oh, yeah, there's a little yeah. gap right there. And I did want to join this to that somehow. Okay. So maybe up underneath or something. Yep, yep, okay. And uh, we got the little washers I wanted to weld in the dash 
area for mounting a piece of metal to fill in the hole. That sounds good. we have here is like a steering piece from uh, that you can buy from gopowersports.com. What you do is you have your steering shaft, goes through this hole and then it has a ball on it that you, I guess, also drill a hole in. And uh, yeah, there's your, there's your pivot for your steering. But we're using it as a brace. Good over? Yep. So we got everything welded up, and if you got a keen eye, you'll see that we uh, taped some things off last night while the camera was off as well. Um, this thing's ready to go outside. I think we're gonna wait maybe an hour, maybe two hours for it to warm up a little more, uh, and then we're gonna hit it with uh, some mineral spirits to get any kind of oil off, let that dry, then start painting. We need to run to the store and grab some like black primer if we can too, we don't have any. I think maybe some distance. Ooh, and then real light. Ooh, dude, it looks so good. It doesn't take much. No, it doesn't. Probably ought to shake every once in a while. It might as like foaming, dude. That's all we have time for in this video, guys. We got our chassis stripped down, we cleaned it, we primed it, and we put our first coats of green on it. Next time we need to add even more clear coat, and we need to add our gold flake. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, we also need to prep and paint our accessory pieces like the steering wheel, uh, like the chain guard, and some other things. Uh, and then just clear coat. Dozens of coats of clear coat. Uh, and then we can reassemble it and go to the dyno. It's time to go to the dyno. We've been in contact with the only company that does small engine EFI kits, and they are not gonna be able to provide us with a plug-in play kit. There's our four single cylinder engines, like exactly like the one that's on the 420. But this being a twin cylinder, it's gonna be more complicated and more expensive. So we're probably looking at north of $2,000 for an EFI with a turbo. And on top of that, this entire build has been based around like a 60s vintage throwback drag rail. A 60s drag rail would not have had electronic fuel injection. So we were thinking of just buying a turbocharger and seeing if we can make it work with the carburetor. We learned lots of things from when we tried it last time. For example, like we need to pressurize the carburetor so we don't blow fuel out of it. And it might still be a mess, but turbos are cheap on eBay. We can probably grab one for 150 or 200 bucks. 
and we can give it our best shot because we told you guys we we're gonna turbocharge it and I personally really wanna see it turbocharged. Well, I also really wanna see a dyno before and after turbocharging. But anyway, all that to come. Just wanted to update you guys on that. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. We gotta thank our sponsor, gopowersports.com. A lot of the equipment we've recently bought, like the tubing roller, like the 144 speed we just put on the ATV, are partially because of you guys who bought merchandise. Anyway, in the spring, we want to do it even bigger. So anybody out there with graphic design skills, we have ideas. We're just not too great with uh, like drawing, for example. So anybody out there with graphic design skills, particularly graphic design skills pertaining to kind of cars and that genre of art, please hit me up on Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Uh, we have some ideas. We just need to be able to get them on paper and on shirts so we can do the spring launch even bigger than the fall launch. We have a few hats left. Help support the channel by picking one up today at cars-cameras.com. Thank you for watching. We will see you Wednesday.